In hopes of combating the ongoing gun violence epidemic in Baltimore City and crime across the state, a state delegate from Baltimore City is now proposing a new plan. And it's a plan that is getting support from the city state's attorney and the city sheriff. As WJZ is live at 11 o'clock, Jessica Albert in Annapolis. And Jessica, tell us about this plan and what it's proposing to make the city and the state safer. Well, Rick and Vic, that legislative patch package is made up of nine bills that have three main goals to stop gun violence, to empower citizens, and to reduce recidivism. First year delegate Kaylin Young from Maryland's 45th district, which covers parts of Baltimore, is pushing a new plan through the state house he says will help reduce crime in Baltimore City and across the state. It's about addressing real life concerns of residents in my communities, empowering our neighbors to be able to keep their own blocks safe. Young is proposing a nine-part legislative package. One of the bills would give people living in certain high-crime neighborhoods free security systems and doorbell cameras for two years to help them and police monitor illegal activity. Young is also proposing upping Crime Stoppers rewards to $50,000. Some community members feel this will compel more people to come forward. The price has always been $2,000 to $8,000, and that is so, you know, low compared to what you're requesting from the community. The plan also addresses the gun violence epidemic, calling for a relocation program for victims, a task force to study murder prevention and reduction, and for people caught with ghost guns to appear before a judge before being released from custody. The package is supported by Baltimore Sheriff Sam Kogan and new city state's attorney Ivan Bates. Bates is also supporting a bill that would help prevent convicted felons from reoffending. House Bill 1123 proposes setting a minimum wage for inmates to to help them save for life after prison. We can't just think about locking people out up without thinking about what we're going to do to make sure that they're successful when they come home. The proposed plan is currently being looked at by the House Judiciary Committee. A second reading is expected sometime in March. And Ivan Bates was also in Annapolis today to advocate for House Bill 481, which would maximize the or increase the maximum term for people caught with illegal guns from three years to five years. Reporting live tonight in Annapolis, Jessica Albert for WJZ.